everyone. Welcome to the All Brands Show. I'm Barbara Chatelaine from allbrands.com and I couldn't be happier to see you and to have our amazing guest that we have today. Go ahead and chime in and let us know where you're watching from, what kind of projects you're working on, and how's the weather? <laughs> so I already see Veronica Wood from Decatur, Alabama is chatting in. Hi, Veronica, good to see you. And Miss Shava from, says hi. Let us know where you're walking, watching from. And Susan Dickman from Mobile, Alabama. Oh my gosh, so great to see everyone. Tina, hi, thanks for coming in. Woo. And we have a very special guest today, but let me tell you, always in our videos now we are doing amazing giveaways so stay tuned to the end of this video and we will pick one live winner for something really special so how do you be eligible to win this something really special go ahead and like comment and share this post to be eligible to win and congratulations so i'm guessing you want to know what it is well, if you frequent our show, you might notice that we're starting to have a tradition of giving away a $100 allbrands.com e-gift card for each of our live streams that we do. And today is no exception. So we're so excited to be giving away that amazing prize. So get your comments in, likes, comments, shares. If you're on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. So today, oh my gosh, so many people. Cindy, I love you too. Ah, it's so good to see you, Janice, Stephen, Ellen. Hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I want to go ahead and welcome our amazing guests. But I want to say thank you first to our Lafayette store manager, uh, Terry Rudolph, who has set everything up with Marilyn and... Um, the store just looks so beautiful. And here's Marilyn Orentis. <laughs> and Ed, oh my gosh. I didn't know you were coming. In the flesh. In the flesh. <laughs> yeah, you heard it, everyone. Ed or Ed Orantis and Marilyn Orantis in the flesh. Well, welcome everyone. And Terry and Casey are behind the scenes working the camera. So thank you everyone there. We're streaming live from Lafayette, Louisiana, and we just love y'all so much. So yeah, how's it going for y'all today? It's great. It's beautiful Good. weather here in Lafayette. Beautiful. Great. 73 degrees. <laughs> That's good. I hope you're eating well. Yes. Yes. Always, always in Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh, Louisiana. good, good, good. <laughs> so um, you actually have, Marilyn Orantis has an embroidery business that she runs with her, and which machine do you have again, Marilyn? I have this one right here. Yay, that's the one we're talking about today. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> I knew the answer. Yes, I, 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 <laughs> I love that machine too, and here. that's why. <laughs> Great, so um, how did you get started? And Ed is actually um, a, are you a national service technician for for embroidery machines? I can be, but I primarily stick to the Gulf South from Texas to Florida, Arkansas, okay. Mississippi. Yeah, service in all make and models of yeah. commercial embroidery machines. Yeah. <laughs> well, Marilyn, you are just one lucky gal. <laughs> all set up. So can you tell me a little bit about how you got started in embroidering and starting your business? Yes. I was making clothes with my sewing machine and I wanted to embroider their names on the outfits that I was making. And when I came to Ed and asked him if I could go buy a machine, he said, well, we've always wanted to start a business. Why don't we just buy a commercial embroidery machine? So we did, we bought a commercial embroidery machine. I was a speech therapist at the time. And I'd say about six months after buying the machine, I was then a full-time embroiderer because the business just rolled in. 
I was in the school system and so it kind of started with the teachers and then their friends and so it just kind of flourished from there. And so I've been doing it now for about 18 years. Oh my goodness. So with the same machine? Say, well, no, I've had some, I've had some different businesses um, where, you know, one business we had five of machines and then another business we had about six machines. Um, so no, not the same exact machine, but the machine that I do run today is 18 years old. Yes. <laughs> it will run forever. Oh, and take care of it. Yeah. Yeah. So what type of um, customers do you mainly, um, um, like do business with, is it t-shirts, hats, like, or is it just anything and everything? Well, since I'm a trainer for the company to uh, train them, I have kind of, my business is not as full blown as it used to be. So now I focus on baby items. I do things like um, monogramming for a baby store, you know, but if someone comes to me with their logo, I will do, you know, shirts, you know, put their logo on a shirt or if they want to do caps with their logo or something like that, I can certainly do something like that too. So, I mean, there's so many That's different great. angles. So, I, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, since I'm a trainer, I get to see all of the different work that you can do with the machine. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll work with somebody who works on motorcycle jackets. They embroider from motorcycle jackets. Sometimes I'll work with somebody who does embroidery on quilts. Sometimes you'll work with somebody who just does caps. So there's so many different ways that you could go with your business. You kind of have to know what your niche is, but be open to what might fall into your lap. Wow, that's wonderful. So I know that in a business, speed is very important with a machine and you want to consider that when making a purchase to, to go into business. Can you tell us a little bit about the speed of this machine? Yes. Yeah, so you can run anywhere between, it's going to be what's comfortable for you. You can run anywhere from 1,100 stitches, uh, 1,500 stitches. You could run it at 600 stitches, but it goes as fast as 1,100 stitches. Is that correct, Ed? Uh, the maximum on this machine is 1,400, but an average is about 1,100, yes. Yeah. I mean, most people don't run their machine at 1,400, although you could. But comfortably for me, I'll run mine at about 1,000 or 1,100. So if you have a design, let's just say you have a design that's 5,000 stitches, the machine only takes five minutes. So if you're making $12 or whatever it is you're charging, you're making $12, $12, $12, $12, $12 every five minutes. If you kind of get what I, where I'm going with yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's making my wheels turn in my head for sure. <laughs> See the little dollar signs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, this is actually, um, it's called the E16 and it's because it holds 16 spools of thread. And yeah. is that a benefit to you in a business? Absolutely. Because you don't have to constantly spend your time changing out spools of thread. You have 16 spools on there. So rarely are you changing out spools of thread. You pretty much have what you need for your job. Yeah, my goodness. And <laughs> I'm sure the next question is, is, um, is it difficult to thread or to change the different colors on the needles? Um, I know that was just kind of the next yeah, question no, I would have. No, it's not hard at all. I mean, but all you're gonna do is pull this thread and you're gonna tie off the new spool and just put on a new spool. It's very simple, very fast. It's not difficult at all. It's very, very user friendly, very user friendly. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Oh, so I know with a lot of um, big embroidery machines, um, sometimes the cart is not included. Um, is the cart included on this model? It is. Yes. And you want to talk about the cart? Yes, uh, the cart uh, is got four independent uh, casters that roll in all directions, so it's easy to maneuver from one room to the next if you need to move around. It fits through a standard doorway, and um, it's made of high-grade steel. It's got a nice tabletop here, which you can remove if you need more space, say, for large luggage or big bags. So uh, although there's ample space down here, 
uh, for baseball bags and you name it. Yeah, and you can, I mean, you could roll it to a different part of the yeah. room if you needed to, you know. It's very, it's very easy mm -hmm. to move. Yeah. I know, I know um, it looks big and scary to people. <laughs> it, I know it looks big and scary, but it's, it's not. You really can just move it to wherever you need it to be. Yeah, I think that um, working in a retail setting that sells embroidery machines over the years, um, I've seen the the habit of a customer coming in to buy an entry level machine to start a business on. And it's so fast how quickly that they upgrade because of like hoop size and um, everything like that. So what um, can you tell us about the embroidery area on this machine? Because, and yeah. is that important? And how often do you use that full embroidery area? Well, I mean, sometimes let's just say if you're doing like a jacket back or something like that, you need a bigger hoop. I mean, if you're doing something like this, like I'm an applique in a um, on this is a pillow sham, and so this is one of the the bigger hoops. And then they have like the uh, the beach towel. I mean, that's like a three inch name that you can because you know that's a big beach towel. You want to put a big name on that, so you have your bigger hoops for that. And then some people will make um, patches. So what they'll do is they'll hoop up a big, big piece of fabric. Um, it's 16 by eight is the largest um, sewing area. 16. Oh, 16.8, yeah. I'm sorry. It's, it's almost 17 by 17, 16.8 by 16.8. So if you were making something like a patch, you could make a bunch of these in one big hoop. You know, so having a large area is great because sometimes you need a bigger hoop for a bigger project. Yeah, so that's definitely something to consider. Um, hoop size, I think, is one of the number one hoop size speed and, and needles on a machine, I think, are, are super, super important. Um, can you tell us a little bit about, because I know this. Because I love this feature of the machine. Um, does this machine have tensions? And I'm going to bring you in full screen, so maybe um, Terry can um, zoom in a little bit. Okay. Well, there you go. You can see. Uh, actually, I'll take this one. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, the machine does not have tension knobs. It does have tensions. However, the tensions are governed by uh, a, a thread feed motor and uh, the software. The software actually monitors the stitch lengths in the design and the motor that dispenses the thread actually dispenses the exact amount that's required uh, based on the sensors on the machine. So therefore, you don't have to do any tensioning at all. It's automatic. So that's a, a huge benefit of not having to worry about cleaning tension discs or, uh, or keeping up with uh, adjusting tensions depending on how clean or dirty they, they get or what types of thread you're using. You want to talk about this tension? This uh, bar right in the middle here, it plays two parts. It's both the thread break detection as well as bobbin detection when you run out of bobbin, but it also monitors the tension of the thread uh, through vibration and basically tells the machine whether it needs more thread or less thread from one stitch to the next. So therefore, we don't have to even consider tensioning the machine. So therefore, that's a, a great feature as well. Yeah, because I think with a conventional you explained machine, it so well. I was oh. with a conventional machine, I think you have to tension each needle with it, you don't have to tension anything. It's all auto tension. You don't have to worry about it at all. So does it set the tension while you're sewing or before or after each stitch? It pretty much starts off uh, the first couple of stitches uh, are standard. Uh, amounts of thread that are dispensed and as soon as the machine starts to sew at its normal speed it then uh, monitors the tension on the sensor here as to whether or not it needs more or less thread for the next stitch. Some stitches are short, some stitches, stitches are long and therefore it needs to monitor that while sewing. But it's all governed by the software and the computer. It's all detected right there on that bar. So, Which by the way Barbara, the computer is always connected to the machine. So you don't have yeah. to save, you don't have to save your files to a USB drive at the computer after typing in names or creating your designs and then walk them over to the machine, plug it in, and then put the design into the machine and back and forth and back and forth. That's just not even an issue here. So when you see your design in the computer, you just hit the send button and now it's in the machine. 
That's awesome. And I think I'm glad that you brought that up because I'd like to talk a little bit about like um, using software in conjunction with the machine when it's plugged in. There's two types of software and uh, we have several different versions of this machine and packages and prices available that we'll show you guys at the end. But um, basically all of the machines come with an operating software and that's basically like how you run the machine, but there yeah. are some quick uh, buttons the on the there, operating right? software allows you to basically send your design to the machine, tell it what needles you're going to sew and also tell it which hoop you're using so that it correctly displays the hoop you've chosen on the screen. And uh, with that, your design will not be allowed to be sewn outside of the hoop range. There's safety measures placed uh, there as well. So therefore, if you've ever heard somebody, unfortunately, sewing into the hoop, that almost never happens on this model machine here, just because the machine won't let you sew outside the hoop. So uh, that's pretty much what you do with the software. It's very simple. Um, children can do it. It's not <laughs> difficult at all. The other yeah. software you spoke of, it will be your digitizing software, uh, which has different levels uh, that one might choose from, but that's for creating or modifying or editing designs. Yeah, so that was to answer Cindy's questions. Um, she asked if there's a screen on the machine to see the embroidery. So since you're working um, in, a, in an industrial setting, you know, going from digitizing to operating system, and you may have multiple machines connected to that one computer, um, that's just the nature of this machine because it is a commercial uh model so thanks yeah, for asking that you, question Cindy. you get you get your whole computer screen to see your design as opposed to your you know a smaller sometimes they control panel. yeah it's sometimes the control panel on the machine is kind of small you get your whole computer screen you can even get a monitor you know a big monitor if you'd like some people do that so it's i like that feature yeah so one thing that this machine has that i love and um it's for aligning designs um to make sure that like you can hoop crooked and still sew out straight can yeah. you explain how that laser pointer works for us yes what you're going to do is I actually used it when i oops i, I used it when i did this towel um let me take it out of the hoop so basically what you do when you put this on the machine, you are going to move the laser to this side of the line right here and you're going to mark it. And then you're going to come to this side of the line and you're going to mark it with some um, key, the, the keys right here. And then basically it's going to follow this line. So the machine will follow any line that you want it to follow. So when you have something that's striped like this, there's no way you're going to be crooked. So you, you don't have to struggle to make everything so perfect because you could just align it at the machine. It'll fall any line. So it's great also for pockets because, you know, sometimes pockets on items on shirts will be crooked. Um, so you could just follow the line of the pocket to make your embroidery look straight. Again. Oh my gosh. I love that. It's called a uh, pinpoint placement and it's a Bernina exclusive feature um, that I think is awesome. Yes. It's really great. And it's really good for when you're trying to align something that's wide, right? So like maybe some, um, there are some other versions of that on different machines, but it does it in one central location instead of doing something from all the way left to all the way right. So, Correct. well, it's the wider good. things that we sew that you may tend to see if they're slightly uh, off kilter or not, as opposed to smaller left chest designs. You can't really tell if they are turned this way, but the wider items, say jacket backs or big towels, you'll see much easier, you know, when reading across a broad spectrum there. And before we had that feature, you would have to rehoop it and unhoop it and rehoop it and unhoop it and rehoop it to make sure that it was straight, especially if you're dealing with a striped beach towel or a man's shirt with a stripe on it. You just have to keep rehooping it. But now you don't have to do that anymore. You just hoop it one time and you have the laser alignment, which can line it up for you perfectly. I love it. So tell us a little bit about, because I know there's a lot of different awesome hoops for this machine. So it's not left in the cold there. Um, how, like, what are your hooping solutions for getting, um, hooping a tight garment? 
Um, so if you have a um, if you have like a onesie or something like this, this is a little. This is a three month onesie. Uh, this is a seven inch hoop, and you can just slip that on the machine like that, and you have plenty of room. You know, you don't have to float it. You still have you have plenty of room. You're able to uh, you're able to hoop that. With and Marilyn, I forgot I forgot to talk about the um, area, the free area underneath that tubular arm on the machine. How much space you have underneath is more than any other machine that I've ever seen. Yes, actually, yes. So this particular machine, all, all embroidered machines have what we refer to as a pantograph. The pantograph is this mechanism here that slides forward, back, and left and right. Uh, the pantograph on this particular model machine is inverted. It's upside down, if you will, and therefore is suspended from up here, which then renders you without any support legs down here where normally the pantograph is mounted. And so therefore you've got just this wide area here with which you can take big things and easily set them uh, underneath the sewing arm. Yeah, you can even get like a big Wow, that there. is huge. Oh my goodness, Marilyn, you can fit in that bag. <laughs> what are you gonna take, Marilyn? <laughs> You can easily get this onto the machine. Yes, I mean you could do golf bags on this machine. Um, you could do luggage on this machine. Yes, it's, it's, space is not an issue at all. So all of your standard hoops that uh, are available for this machine range anywhere from uh, nine centimeter, which of course is around four point six eight inches round, all the way up to um, eight point one nine inches round, and then we get into the rectangular hoops. And as I said, uh, you know, we can go from 14 and a quarter to 11 and three quarters uh, rectangle all the way up to 16.8 by 16.8. So there's a, a wide variety of regular hoops that we would use, not to mention all of the uh, third party hoops that are available uh, through all brands and what have you. But from the clamping style hoops to the magnetic hoops, yeah. uh, including fast frames, which utilize a sticky backing or or clamps, if you will. So uh, this is a, another great item here that allows you to hold difficult items that otherwise you couldn't hoop in a regular uh, ring inside of a ring or ring around a ring type hoop uh, just because the fabric is yeah. so thick, you know. So that's a hoop tech um, clamp frame. Yeah, so the name um, is the slimline is what it's called because the back uh, tension spring loaded mechanism is slim. It slides into the machine easily. So yeah, so just slip it in that there so and then clamp that down and then just slip yeah. it out. So, so I'll just let you guys know real quick while we're watching because that's an optional purchase, but I wanted to let people know that there yeah. are so many different hoops available for this machine. Um, the hoop tech, the fast frames, the derky. Oh my gosh. Um, Magnetic hoops too. If, if you want to sew it, there's a hoop for it. <laughs> there's a hoop that's for awesome. everything. If you, if you, there's a way to get it on this machine and monogram it, I promise. Yeah, we've even, uh, there's a, available a, a pocket hoop, which yeah. allows you to get inside, uh, the get inside the pocket. Now, this, this hoop is actually going to mount onto the cap driver yeah. uh, because instead of trying to uh, sew side to side, it actually rotates. Yeah. And that's how you're able to get the sewing arm into the, the pocket. And actually, so and I've this heard way. of people buying this machine just because they need to get inside the pocket for the jobs that they're trying to do for their customers. So it's, it's hey, a feature. You never want to leave uh, leave money on the table by not oh, being right? able to do a job because of a machine's capability. And I want to stress to everyone: this is the smallest cylindrical arm on the market right now. So it's a That's circular. It's, what do they call it? What's the technical term, Ed? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> you, you, you said it right, the cylindrical sewing yeah. arm, yeah. as opposed oh, okay, to a boxy square. Yeah. Lucky guess. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to tell everybody real quick, the, the hoops that do come with the Bernina E16 uh, Plus machine, um, Kurt, uh, March, 2021 in case you're watching this in the future um, it currently comes with the cap driver two wide angle cap frames and the cap gauge it comes with the jacket back hoop that's the big 
what was the size in inches again? And uh, do you remember? 16.8 16 square. Yeah. Awesome. And then it also has three round hoops with it and 12 centimeters, nine centimeters and 15 centimeters. And can, can you tell us why a round hoop is superior to a square hoop? Yes. Okay. So when you are holding the garment in the hoop, you want to know that the fabric and the stabilizer are all secure all the way around the hoop so that you don't have any slippage. A round hoop is actually going to, when you tighten the screw, is actually going to hold the garment securely all the way around uniformly. Uh, a square hoop, per se, when you tighten the thumb screw, is going to pull on the corners, thereby sometimes causing the flat sides to open up like this. So therefore, they'll take these uh, rectangular or square hoops and round the corners out to try to alleviate that problem. So that's why you'll see round hoops, which are primarily used for left chest logos and the smaller size garments. And the problem with embroidery is that the problem that you run into is that the fabric is moving. You're mutilating fabric by putting a lot of holes in it. So having those round hoops, you want the best stability possible. So that's why that's a great solution for solving the problem that we're sticking holes in items, <laughs> trying to make them look. Yeah, good. I loved that exclamation explanation whenever you came and did a training with us um how <laughs> embroidery is just punching holes <laughs> can you just kind of go into that a little bit more because i know i'm going down a little rabbit hole i hope that's okay with you early. <laughs> yeah i mean if you think about it what are you doing you're just sticking fabric on the machine and you're like oh let me just stick a bunch of holes in this garment that i'm trying to make look beautiful so because you're doing that, you have to have the tensions right, which the software takes care of that. You have to have the correct hoop, like he's talking about, having it nice and stable. So sometimes floating is not always the answer because you can get a really stable hoop if you, um, you know, use one of their hoops. And then, like I said, with the auto tension, that helps with the fact that you are mutilating the fabric by sticking a bunch of holes in it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, but it looks really pretty after you mutilate it. I know. I know. Well, yeah, because the machine helps with that. Yeah. So um, Ed's standing here, which is so great. Um, and thank you for coming in uh, and joining your wife, Marilyn. Can you tell us a little, about, a little bit about the upkeep of this machine? How hard is it to keep up and running? Well, you're going to like this part. No kidding. Uh, because the machine is connected to a computer, there are timers that are running inside of the software that are actually counting the stitch counts down. So let's say you have a 2 million stitch timer. Uh, as you run the machine, that 2 million is working its way down to zero. When that timer hits zero, a little window pops up in the middle of the screen and reminds you, hey, it's time to do a little maintenance to this part of the machine. And if you've never done it before, this particular maintenance procedure, there's a instructional tutorial on the computer screen which shows you photographs and arrows and explains step to you in step. writing step by step what to do. So that's really great. And you just do what you're supposed to do, click next, do what you're supposed to do, click next, remove this cover, put this screw back in, hit next. And when you're finished, it resets the timer for you. Now, after you've done it a couple of times and you're comfortable with the tutorial, you don't need to do that. You can just click reset. You've done the oil or the grease and then you're back up and running again. And you can always save that to the end of the day. You can save it to the end of the week. But there are nice reminders to keep you in the know as to what type of maintenance needs to be done in which parts of the machine, as opposed to a, a broad um, sticker or drawing of the machine that you have to try to figure out on your own. And I mean, you know, being married to a technician, when that would come up, I would call him and say, hey, Ed, it's time to do my maintenance. Can you come over here and do that for me? But when he said, Marilyn, just try it, I, I couldn't believe how easy it was. Because I'm a girl. I don't deal with tools. I didn't want to get into the mechanism of the machine. It was intimidating. But it literally walks you through like a kindergarten simple step process. Take this off. Drop oil here. It's very simple, and, very user friendly. And you know, Barbara, I get the question all the time from customers. Uh, do we need to have you as a technician come out once a year to service our machine? And I'm just a little too honest in telling them, no, you don't need me. The operator of the machine should be comfortable with doing all the maintenance on the machine. The only time you call a technician out is when you're having problems that are going to affect your production. So therefore you don't need a technician as long as your operator is 
putting the oil and grease where it needs to go. So that's a really great feature as well. And it's like a car. If you maintain it, it will last forever because my machine is about 18 years old and it runs like a dream. Oh my gosh, 18. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> and thank you, Ed, for answering that question. And, you know, if you ever do need support um, on this machine, Ed travels in the Gulf States. There's there's technicians um, all over that are available mm -hmm. to support you. And it's not hard to get education um, and it's not hard to get tech technical support on these um, machines. And also if you're local, um, allbrands.com as well. So um, this machine does hats. Can you show us a little bit how, like how easy it is to switch back and forth between the hats? Um, and we, we, didn't actually, we didn't actually bring um, the equipment to switch it over, but it literally takes seven minutes. I've timed it. It takes seven minutes. All you're going to do is you're going to remove the hoop arms and you're going to, with the, with the Allen wrench, and then you're going to slip on the cap driver. And I have timed it. And it is about a seven minute process. That's how fast you can get it into hat mode. There are two screws on this arm, two screws on that arm. Take the arms off, slide the cap driver into position, one screw on the left, one screw on the right, and you're essentially ready to do caps. Right. That's so easy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And you know, it's hard to see from the, from, the back of the machine, but is there a limitation on what types of hats are going to fit in that that you found? Well, not that not that we found limitations per se. Uh, some caps can be a little more tricky, say the structured caps, which have the stiff front, uh, as opposed to the unstructured caps, which are very soft and, and supple to sew through on the front. Uh, but you can sew on the, the, the sides of the caps. You can sew on the back of the caps. There are actually uh, additional types of hoops that you can buy to make, say, sewing on the back of a coop, uh, back of a cap rather uh, easier. Uh, it's literally called the back of the cap hoop. So, um, and uh, they have others that are for the sides of the cap. You can do bucket caps and um, even children's caps sometimes. So, yes, there's. I don't want to say that there's limits. But I, I, okay, there might be one limit: a cowboy hat. I understand. Oh, yeah. that's I understand that's very difficult to try to accomplish. Uh, trying to get a cowboy We've hat it, onto an embroidery machine, yeah, with its wide brim. Yeah. So, have you ever, Marilyn? I see some people do boots. Have you ever tried that? Yes, definitely. You could definitely do boots. Yes, with this hoop right here. All you. Oh, she's do like, oh yeah, no problem. I love yeah. it. You um you just slip the front of the hoop right into this this one right here. They have different windows for this particular hoop, so you just switch out those to a smaller window, and then you just slip that right into the top of the boot, and then you slip it on, and this goes right. The boot goes right over this. So definitely, definitely have done a lot of boots in my day. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Down here in the south. Hey, you know, Marilyn and Ed, guess who's watching? Who? Guess who? Watching. Who? Our watching? owner, my oh. father, hey. John hey. Dalton. John. Can we bring him up? <laughs> he is our owner technician. He started the company in 1976, so he knows what he's talking about. As we agree with Ed, that yeah. most machines only need a technician. If there's a problem, you cannot fix yourself. So, thank you. <laughs> well, I was going to tell you, Barbara. You. That down here in the south, we see a lot of young ladies that have those rubber decorative rubber boots. And if you want sure. to monogram them, the only downside is you compromise the, the, the fact that they're no longer waterproof up around the, the shins. But uh, yeah, that's, that's something that they like to have done around here. So, oh my gosh, Tina says, wow, boots, that's crazy. Yes, Tina. And oh my gosh, I would be way afraid to embroider on boots but i guess when you have an industrial embroidery machine well the machine, just has no trouble. the machine has no trouble sewing through it you just want to make sure you have a sharp point needle preferably an, an 80 slash 12 or 90 slash 14 needle sharp point and uh, titanium coated uh, because that's going to minimize the friction on the needle when punching through the thicker the materials. machine is very powerful. It can go, it can go through a lot of things. I mean, not hard plastic, but I have been through thin plastic before. 
So oh, like by, I said, by accident. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try it. <laughs> I don't want you to say no. I'll try it. <laughs> so we did have a question um, from MJ Shava. What is the difference between a flat clamp and the yellow hoop that you were showing? And those are two optional accessories. So what do you use those those two hoops for? And what's the major difference? Well, if is she referring to a, a, a fast frame flat clamp? Is, is oh. uh, now this uh -huh. is a flat this is a flat clamp here. And the fact that uh, we've got a handle here that when you open it, the jaw is open here to accommodate uh, different fabrics. I'm not sure if you can see this here. Um, Maybe we can make it full screen. I'll go backstage for just go. a moment. So here you can see, there we go. You can kind of see that this pivots in the middle and clamps down. And once you have your fabric in place, you throw this handle here down and it bites. You would not want your finger in here when you're clamping this down. Right. So this is the uh, the slimline clamping hoop. So there are other hoops out there. Uh, one was referred to as the fast frames, which people clamp uh, the fabric to that using something similar to binder clamps. But of course, I always recommend to use the sticky backing on the underside as well, because that's what it was originally uh, designed for. And that will really hold um, specialty items like patches or uh, hair ribbons, or even if you wanted to embroider just on the collar, right here on the edge of the collar, how do you hoop a small piece of fabric, a little triangular piece of fabric like this? I know you can't see black on black, but um, you would stick it to the sticky backing on one of those uh, stainless steel fast frames. This guy is meant for heavier fabrics that you otherwise cannot hoop. Hard to hoop. Yeah, hard to hoop garments that, are, uh, that just wouldn't fit inside of a ring that goes around a, another ring. Yeah. And then see here, you can switch out to different windows. There's there's a bunch of different windows that you can buy that fit onto here. So smaller ones, bigger yeah, ones, six, depending six on the job. Sizes, yeah. yeah, depending on the job that you're working on. Yeah, so Albright sells all of those hoops. They're um, made by, uh, the ones that you're showing are made by Hoop Tech. And there's a lot of other brands as, as well available. So many, many, many options. Can we, um, and y'all please ask questions if you have them, but I did want to switch back over to software a little bit and talk more about that. So I know from the domestic slash semi-professional uh, machines that we sell, the software is often um, like digitizing software is sold because, you know, um, someone in the domestic market might not want to create their own designs. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the how like how user friendly is this software? Because that's a big fear for a lot of people. Yeah. Well, there's different levels of software to pick from. Uh, you have the starter software, which you can just do lettering and. Uh, simple things like that that you do in day in day out then of course you can uh, move to a level that allows you to do uh, basic drawing tools where you can draw a line or a circle or do a square that's filled in with a, a fill stitch um, then of course you've got more features in higher levels that allow you to do things quicker let's say if you have a, a square filled in area but you want to add a quick border around that uh, with the click of a button you can add in uh, that without having to draw the border. It just simply adds the border to what you have. So there's different levels of software that, you know, you may choose to move up to when you're ready uh, and you can do all kinds of great things. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's there's no limits as to what you can create with the, the different digitizing uh, and, you software know, levels. Since I train people, I have trained all levels of people. Some people who don't even know how to work a mouse and some people who are, you know, working technology for a living, and it's nobody is like, oh, I can't do it. It's it's not that hard. It's not that hard at all. You start simple, and then you know, you send your designs off for someone else to set them up. But the simple designs, absolutely, you could just type in a name, or you know, insert a picture of a bear and type bears underneath. That kind of stuff is very simple. You know, you don't need to digitize in the very beginning because if you're starting a business, you can send that off to someone else and you and you can incur that cost to the customer. You know, just like anything else you get set up, there's a fee involved. So you don't have to feel like you have to digitize in the very beginning of your career. Save that for later. 
But no, I don't find anyone is overwhelmed with the software at all. It's, again, very, very user friendly. And Barbara, when I start a, a digitizing class, I always try to put everybody at ease into letting them know that digitizing is nothing more than tracing over another picture. So you put your image on the screen and knowing which tool to use for what type of stitch you'd like to create, you simply are just tracing over what's on the screen. And of course you start from what's behind and work your way up to what's gonna be on top. It's just multiple layers. So digitizing yeah. is not difficult, but it can sometimes take a little bit to learn all of the ins and outs and you know what you must do uh, to get the look you're going for. Oh my gosh, I love it. So just to clarify, um, right now the Bernina E16 Plus, which is the brand new model, um, does come, it comes with the operating system software to run the machine, but it also includes a software called Design Shop and it's now version 11, so it's just been updated. And it's an editor digitizing software so it includes sizing and lettering, which is probably very important to doing monograms, yeah, it's right? Everybody, it's where everybody gets their start, yeah. that's for yeah. sure. Uh, Lord knows you get plenty of fonts and uh, the editing allows you to take a design that somebody else has already created and make it bigger, make it smaller, rotate it, flip it, uh, mirror it, uh, whatever you feel you need to do. Yeah, uh, the editing team will let you do font, that. If you have a font that is so thin and when you sew it out, it looks ridiculous. It's a click of a button to make it a little bit fatter and make it look so much more professional. That's how simple it is. Mm -hmm. Making the letters it. bold, <laughs> putting the letters on an arc. Yeah, doing all kinds of crazy stuff with letters for sure. Yeah, so not only this machine includes that the machine, of course, the stand, the operating software, the editor digitizing software with sizer and letter, lettering, the cap frame with two wide cap frame attachments and the gauge, the big jacket back hoop, three round hoops. It comes with an Isacord starter kit. So you're gonna get the premium thread um, for the top of the machine. And um, it also says here, I see it says technical support package oh is marilyn going to get the the kit do you have that uh, she, she's picking, just showing you the she was researching the big <laughs> oh. <laughs> now it looks like that old tv show the big family <laughs> that was really cute yeah you get all the tools um, that you need for maintenance they give you some needles they of course they give you 16 spools of thread and i i found the cap driver here so there's the cap driver. As you can see, it it side uh, goes side to side, or more like this here. There we go. So this is going to mount right over here once the hoop arms have been removed. Wow, 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 wow. So, oh, I forgot to ask, what kind of bobbin system is in this machine, and what kind of um, pre-wound embroidery bobbins do you use? Uh, it's a standard. It's the standard bobbin that most machines use these days. It's a size, uh, or rather style L. A lot of times people refer to it as the large, but it's basically style L. This one actually says L right on the side. So whether you choose the cardboard sided or the plastic sided, or even the sideless bobbins, the magnetic. Uh, the, which has a magnetic core, yeah, it's, it's your choice. But this is a style L standard I'm a fan of the magnetic. with a pigtail spring, <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. So I also see that it says included with this machine is the, it says technical support package, two days training at dealer location. So with the E16 plus, when you purchase it from all brands, guess who goes to um, help you get acquainted to the machine? <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> So you're meeting her now. Can you tell us just a little bit about what that training entails? I know it's a, it's a, um, about maybe about a $1,300 value or something for that. If they were to pay for that. Uh, but within one year of purchase, I come to your location and we start when you want to start seven o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, whatever you want to do. And we just take it step by step. We, we take, we just learn everything about how the machine works. 
We learn the software from top to bottom. We practice, we run things, and you'll feel so comfortable by the time I leave after the second day, for sure. Now, we, of course, it's going to take yeah. time. I mean, you know, you're, you're still going to practice when I'm gone, but you are going to feel so much better working with someone one on one for two full days. Yes. Here's a good question. And if you don't know the answer, I can answer this. Cindy um, says, even if you live in Key West. So this is a Bernina machine. So <laughs> yes, I mean, I if you, if you, <laughs> so um, if you purchase it from all brands retail store and um, you want Marilyn to train you, we will send her to your house. That's fine. Um, so yeah, the wonderful training. I actually went through it myself, which is amazing. And Marilyn is just such an amazing teacher. Um, so I'm so excited that we have you and Ed available for any support technically or education uh, support on this machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and, um, oh, I have two more questions. I think that, um, that we may have covered this. Can the machine uh, sew in a pocket? Yes, mm -hmm. you, can, you can sew inside of the pocket. Yeah, so it, like I say, it's one of the only machines that you can actually go inside the pocket and sew onto the pocket, yes. And there are three different uh, size pocket yeah. hoops to pick from. And tell me about patches. I know we talked about that earlier with the big, big, big jumbo hoop. Yeah, you can actually make a patch right here on the embroidery machine, just like that. Just well, when she said the big jumbo hoop, that was if you wanted to make multiple patches right. at one time. But if you just want to make one patch, you can use a standard hoop um, that it's would just fit the patch. Rarely do you make one patch. Usually when a customer calls, they want 50 of these or 60 of these or whatever. So you would use your big hoop, but you can just make just one. Okay, so I'm going to, um, I know we talked about a lot about this machine. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring up um, the um, E16 slide so that we can tell you guys how much uh, it is per month uh, because it's an amazing, amazing deal. So let's see. Here it is right here. So with the, uh, the new Bernina E16 Plus, you get everything you need to get started. The machine, the stand, the operating system, the soft software, the multiple cap frames and driver, jack -a back hoop, isocore starter kit, technical support, package, warranty, two days tra training at the end, or we have uh, sent Marilyn to, um, like if, if we've sent you out Yes. Two folks oh. before. Um, yeah. I've been to Utah, yeah. I've been to Phoenix, yes. Okay, great. Um, and then the um, the three round hoops and the technical support package warranty. Um, so for all of that, with your Bernina card, or you can apply, um, just contact any of our retail stores. You can have 48 months, 0% financing on this machine. And it's only $333 per month. Now, Ed, can you tell us a little bit about, or Marilyn, the delivery process on this machine? Well, traditionally, uh, there's a, a two drivers, or rather two delivery guys, that will bring the machine to your place. <coughs> Excuse me. And they'll assemble the cart and set the machine on the cart at your door. And it's already threaded. So all you have to do is just um, tie a, tie the knot and then pull your thread through. You don't have to thread the whole machine. It comes completely threaded for you. Oh, wow. That's just so easy. I love that. I love that so, so, so much. So. Um, guys, let us know if you have any questions. I did want to go into the kind of business side of our live. We have about 10 minutes left and then we're going to do our big giveaway. So everybody, if you haven't done yet, or if you're just tuning in, make sure that you like comment and share or subscribe to be eligible to win that $100 allbrands.com e gift card. Good luck. Um, so keep those comments coming. Um, so Marilyn and Ed, uh, um, how much money can a person really make in a year running an embroidery machine? 
Right. All right. Um, I have, um, I've done my own little surveys with all the customers that I've known over the last 20 years. And it seems to be that a, a machine of this nature can earn between 30 to $60 an hour. Now that of course is dependent upon what you're selling. I quit. And, um, <laughs> I quit. See y'all later. I'm going to start an embroidery business. Oh, I got you. Okay. Okay. I <laughs> well, you think you can do a name on somebody's shirt in 20 minutes. Uh, in one hour, you just made $30. So if, if the average is about $10 per name, and that's dependent upon, you know, what, what part of the country you're in. But, um, and if you can do a name, which you can easily do in five to 10 minutes, that's $60 an hour. So what the idea here is that you're hooping a garment while the machine is sewing the one prior. So when the machine is finished, you slide the hoop off, put the next one on and hit start and you're back up and running again. So it's meant for mass production and for all types of creative stuff too. So some people charge by the stitch count. Some people charge by the minute. There's no right or wrong. And however many minutes you choose to uh, work or rather hours you choose to work a day, um, you can work part time. You don't have to work eight hours a day. So it's really flexible. Yeah, that's why Marilyn is, is looking so young and beautiful all the time because she's never stressed because <laughs> she has a dream job. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine. You know, I, I see you've got that that unbelievable 0% interest for 48 months. That's incredible. Most people tell me that they pay their machines off in one to two years. Yeah. So you may not even have to go four years with finance. I actually, I just, I just trained this guy in, um, I can't remember where he was, somewhere in Louisiana. And I just texted him a couple weeks later. I said, Hey, how you doing? I just want to see how you're doing. He said, I made $800 in the last three weeks. I'm like, what? I mean, it, you know, he had no idea. He just kind of bought the machine because he was in love with it. And so he's just rolling. So I mean, as soon as people find out you're doing embroidery, they're like, oh, I need this. I need that. I need this. So my sister needs this. You'll see. <laughs> I promise. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, I hear you down. there. Like I say, six months after I bought a machine, I was a full-time embroiderer. I had no idea that my path was going to be that, you know, it was going to take that. Because I just going to college for a speech therapy. <laughs> I spent four years doing that. So I had no idea <laughs> that was going to be my path. But it, there's so, you can't walk in one building one home and not find embroidery. It is everywhere. It is every sports team from the teeny weenies to the NFL. It is every single business, every single home, every wedding, every baby. I mean, there is just uh, just so many venues that you could go into. You it's just have so to, diversified. Yeah, you yeah. have to find your niche, um, whatever it is that you love to do. And then you can go for the, even as, as embroiderers, we don't fight for business. There's way too much business to fight. We're very friendly with each other. We help each other, so it, it, you know we don't even fight as competitors in the business. Oh my goodness, I love it! So one more business question, um, and then I'm going to show y'all some other options uh, for this machine that are available online, um, and then um, we'll do our $100 allbrands.com e-gift card um, giveaway. So my last question is, and if y'all if y'all have any questions, please chime in now because. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, we're about to move on to another thing, but, um, Marilyn, uh, can you tell us a little bit about pricing, um, and wholesale garments? Yes. I mean, I think that if you buy this machine, you're buying top of the line equipment and you have top of the line software. And I don't think you should even turn the machine on unless you're going to charge the customer at least $12. Now that's just to start. So even if you're just doing the letter A on a hair ribbon, or if you're doing a logo on a shirt, then I think you should at least start at, you know, about $12. Now, I mean, you have to do your research in your area, um, but that's kind of where you want to go from there. And then, of course, if you do several pieces, if you do 26, you know, shirts like this, yes, you can go down on the price, um, but I would at least start. And the reason why you would go down on price is because there's no setup for the, the rest of the order you do it you set it up once and you just keep running them through right so press you, go, yeah. you put it on press go put it on press go yeah and that's that's why, that's why you can give the customer a little price break but that's really um and and what i've done is i've called around to all the different areas like in florida and 
Alabama and Georgia, just kind of got an idea of what people are charging. And that is about the rate, somewhere between $12 to $14 uh, just to put anything, any kind of monogramming on any item. Wow. Within, within a certain amount of stitch, of course. <laughs> and I'm a, big, I'm a big advocate of trying to keep all of my customers up on what everyone else is charging. Right. I hate to see somebody who's lagging behind and only charging five dollars, you know. Right. So um Yeah. My goodness. I love it. I love it. Um, so Sharon asks, um, what's the price of this machine? So I'm going to bring that slide up one more time. We are advertising the price per month here. Um, it is only, if you use the 48 months, 0% financing with the Bernina card, this machine is only $333 per month. So that's very do doable, especially if you're using it as a business, you'll be able to pay it off very quickly. So, um, the, um, yeah, so you can do the math to figure out the uh, the price of that one. Uh, but it is also free shipping to your home. And like Ed said, they set it up um, for free. Uh, and that's included in the shipping. So it's amazing, amazing deal. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nancy in Texas, thank you so much. All right, so we're nearing the end of the show. I'm also going to show you guys, if you're on the internet and you're looking for, maybe you're not one of our local um, customers in Louisiana or Texas, we do have very similar machines available and I wanted to let you know that they're available um, just to let you know. So there is a Bravo Package A. Um, Ed, do you want to tell us like, like the machine itself, um, physical differences between the Bernina E16 and the, do you know offhand? Well, because they're both owned by the same company, the, the physical differences are going to probably just be the, uh, the cart. Um, the, the Bravo has a, a extruded plastic cart, whereas the Bernina has a, a steel uh, metal cart here. But um, the machine uh, is essentially uh, the same mechanically. Wonderful. And um, so, and it's also like some differences in what's included and the hoop size and stitches per minute. So, That's we've included correct. in the description of this video all of the links to all four machines that we're talking about. Uh, but this is the uh, lowest price package that we're able to offer online. Um, and this one uh, does not come with the virtual training like the Bernina E16 does, but it is available as an option for 1200. So with this one, you just get a little bit different software. Um, you get a little bit smaller embroidery area, but you can definitely get started um, embroidering with a, an industrial embroidery machine. So here's the second option. It's uh, package B. That's also a 14 by 12 embroidery area. So a little, a little smaller than the E16 plus. Um, it also is not as, as fast. Um, I think it only goes a thousand stitches per minute. Let me see. That's correct. Yes. Um, yeah, so the A and B package do a thousand stitches per minute. The E16 plus is the fastest for sure. Um, and it has a little bit different software with it. Um, this one uh, is uh, qualifies for our 24 month 0% financing. So it's actually, if you compare the two, the price per month is much, much lower on this machine because you can finance it through synchrony financing for a uh, longer amount of time. So only $184 per month on that um, industrial 16 needle embroidery machine by Bravo package B. And then we have the Bravo package C. So the hoop area is, um, embroidery area is expanded on this machine. It's actually a little bit faster. This one goes up to 1,100 stitches per minute. Um, it comes with the Design Shop V11 Vector um, digitizing software. Um, and it also, if you purchase the package C in the month of March, you can get cap equipment. So it's March, 2021, everyone. 
um, in case you're watching this in the future. So don't miss out on that. And it's only $563 per month. So Marilyn, you said that your uh, customer that you trained that um, said he made $800 in two weeks. Well, hey, that more than covered uh, that. And then this is the machine that Marilyn and Ed have the E16 uh, and it is amazing. So I, I do believe that this is the cream of the crop. This is going to get you the best package deal. You get the training, um, you get the, the most in this package, you get the best financing with the Bernina credit card, um, the better uh, stand with that. And it's actually lower price per month than the package C. So it's only $333 Per month. So that's a lot less of a liability. If you're starting a business, you know that, hey, I have to only make this amount to, to make my payment on my machine. Um, that's just something good yeah, to think about. If you're questioning yourself whether you can really make this a go, make a couple phone calls to any embroidery companies in your area and see how long you have to wait for stuff. <laughs> I promise you, if you make a phone call, they'll tell you two weeks, three weeks, a month, everyone. I've never met a slow embroiderer. I mean, you are going to be busy. I, I can almost promise that. I'm just I'm, make a phone call, make a couple phone calls. You'll see. Yeah, and with that E16 Plus, at uh, speeds up to I think it 1,400 stitches 1400 per minute. Per minute. Yeah. Yes. That's just going to increase your um, dollars that you make per hour. That's right. So that's wonderful. Oh, thank you so much, Ed Marilyn. This has been great. It's so Good informative. To see you, Good to see Thank you. you. <laughs> so we're going to do actually a giveaway now. So everybody start chiming in, give us some comments. Um, emojis are always fun. <laughs> like, comment, and share. And we will pick a random winner in just a moment. And I got to say, um, Terry's been in the background. He is our um, Lafayette uh, store manager. And I just want to bring him in. And could you wave to the camera, Terry? Hey, thank you. We love you so much. Thank you so much. I love you too. <laughs> so if anybody has any questions on this machine, Terry is available in the Lafayette store to help you with this. And you have Ed, you have Terry, you have Marilyn. You are in good, good hands. So thank you, Terry. And thank you, Casey's in the background somewhere as well. So thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so let's pick a winner. And I got to thank David behind the scenes here who set up all our camera equipment and just doing a fine job um, switching cameras and things like that. So David is going to pick a random winner and pull them up on the screen. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Mimi Daly. Oh my gosh, what a cute little emoji. Mimi, please email me at events at allbrands.com. That's events at allbrands.com. And I will get that allbrands.com e-gift card email to you. And congratulations. And thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Ed. You are just amazing. Thank you for coming on the show today. Take care, Barbara. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, everybody.